Yeah, my wife can always tell what character I've been doing. Especially like when I'm doing cues or looping because I come home talking a little bit more smooth, you know? Hi, honey, how you doing? She's like, Hughes? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I mean, hi. <laughs> How's it going? Uh, yeah, and uh, sometimes the grilling, it, you know, it's, it, I get hoarse, so I come home like, hi, or Usopp, hi. I sound like the clown on uh, the Simpsons. Yeah, Cressy the Clown, hey, how's it going? Man? Oh my god, this anime shit's gonna kill me. <laughs> Uh, any other questions? Yes? What is the craziest uh, cosplay costume you've seen at a con? Crazy? Oh, yeah. Uh, what is that show? Is, is there... Uh, e no, not e it, uh The one that just has the tape right around here. It's, there was a girl wearing nothing but tape and a thin strip of tape across her heaving bosoms. <laughs> and, and, it came to, and she was really cute. And then she was 16, so I went, I gotta go. <laughs> That's how old my daughter is. Oh, I know. I was like, oh, I know, can't see it. Get some clothes on! <laughs> Actually, I, came, I went up there, like, she came up to the, the, the signing, you know, and I was like, wow, you know, so I'm like, hey, how's it going, baby? <laughs> so, uh, but no, but, yeah, and I said, so how old are you anyway? And she said, well, I'm 16. I said, does your mother know you're dressed like this? She said, yeah, she put the tape on. I was like, <laughs> I am not going to put my standards on other people. But tell her thank you. Anyway, so, um, any other questions? I have about eight minutes. So this is, uh, this is yes. What anime do you like aside from, you know, the voices you've done? Yeah, the first anime that I saw that I knew that actually the word anime was a show called Project Aiko. Do you guys ever see that? It was one of the few animes that Blockbuster carried. And I went, oh, this looks cool, this little girl in a sailor suit, you know? And I watched it and I was like, wow, this is really interesting, you know? And I didn't know anything about it. But then I found out that she was, she's like the superhero, right? And it turns out that she's actually the son, of, the daughter of Superman, which was really cool, right? And then I saw this other show that came out right, right after that at Blockbuster, and it was about this little kid who rode a cloud and had this big staff and uh, had spiky hair, and I went, this is Weird, I like this. <laughs> and then later I got cast at Funimation and I saw a poster on the wall and there was this little kid on the cloud. I went, I know that show. What is that show? And he said, that's a show you're on, you dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on that show? <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> oh, that's me, look. <laughs> oh, cool, cool, cool. Because it, it had been like, you know, years earlier that I'd seen this, and all of a sudden, here it is. I'm on the show that I liked. Yes? Is it true that you have a story when you're done and you just one character? Yeah, and that's why, general, if, if I have the opportunity, I get the manga. You know, because that's the easiest way to access it. It's cheaper than buying the DVDs and stuff like that. And especially, like, if it's shown in junk, because you can just get a bunch of those old issues and at half price bookstores. That's what I did when I got One Piece recently. I just picked up as many of the manga as possible so I can understand the character better, you know. And it, it is a good reference. That's one thing that, as a voice actor for anime, is that we have. We have this manga that can help you get the internal dialogue uh, and the, the original intention of the creator, too. So that's what I try to do. Yeah. Don't always get that opportunity, but yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, that's, it's, it's, Funimation seems to be doing pretty well, and we've been very fortunate that way, we, we uh, actually have, um, we also distribute anime, which has helped keep us afloat, but also we've been, get, we got a lot of hits, you know, and big shows. Sadly, I have nothing against fan subs, okay, I don't have it, personally, because I think it's cool. I like, I like having you know, power to the people, you know, and I, I like being able to watch shows in, in the original Japanese and having that access. Unfortunately, that's killing our industry. It's a cash point. Exactly, because people think that you make the money because you're on TV. TV money is nothing. As a matter of fact, some people pay networks to put their shows on because it's advertising for the DVDs. That's where studios make their money. 
If they can't sell any DVDs because people have already seen the shows, and it's on YouTube or whatever, then they won't spend the money on the DVDs. If they don't spend the money on DVDs, companies fold. When companies fold, the industry folds, and eventually you don't have comic, you don't have these conventions anymore. Well, you may have them, but it's going to be a different kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, that was the original philosophy. Turns out it's actually killing the industry. Yeah, we all thought that. We're like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, now it's everywhere, you know? But it turns out being everywhere means that they don't have to buy it. And if they don't have to buy it, then that means that somebody's going to fold. Yeah? Yeah, um, after you're done answering questions, can you sign my wallet? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you want to sign anything? Yeah, let me go ahead and sign. Does anybody have something to sign? I'll go ahead and start doing that now. Um, Thank you guys so much for coming out to this panel. Appreciate it. I love being out here at Anime North. It's my third year.